blessed are you, O Lord our God, who reigns over all the universe in love, who led Sarah and Abraham and their children in hope, who freed the enslaved children of Israel from Pharaoh's Egypt, who fed your people with manna in the wilderness and the words of the prophets, who went into exile with your beloved people and brought them home, who came among us in the human life of Jesus, who broke the power of sin and death by dying on the empire's cross, who has gathered us by your Spirit's pull from all nations and languages, who leads us onward and feeds us still, whose love brings resurrection and renews all creation. Blessed are you, O Lord our God. Blessed are you. Psalm 66. Make a joyful noise to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Give to him glorious praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great power, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth worships you. They sing praises to you. Sing praises to your name. Come and see what God has done. He is awesome in his deeds among mortals. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There we rejoice in him who rules by his might forever, whose eye keeps watch on the nations. Let the rebellious not exalt themselves. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard, who has kept us among the living, who has not let our feet slip. For you, O God, have tested us. You have tried us as silver is tried. You brought us back into the net. You laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, yet you have brought us out to a spacious place. I will come into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay you my vows that my lips uttered and my mouth promised when I was in trouble. I will offer to you burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke and sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of bulls and goats. Come and hear, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for me. I cried aloud to him, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But truly God has listened. He has given heed to the words of my prayer. Blessed be God, because he has not rejected my prayer or removed his steadfast love from me. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from Rome. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. 
Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil good. We lift up to you, Lord Jesus, our praise, our thanks, our deepest selves, and all the places your beloved world hurts. Heal the disease in our bodies and in our hearts as well. Where we are coldly indifferent, hold us in the fire of your love. Where hatred infects us, remove its poison. Where we are bent in on self, turn us outward to you and our neighbor. Where we are dead inside, call us back to life. That we might be your wounded hands and feet, raised up for your work to make all things new. God, whose love embraces all the world, who loved us when we were far off, estranged, and enemies of yours, come and be our help. We struggle to love others. We have been hurt and wounded. We are upset at those who have harmed us, at those we care about. We struggle with bitterness inside our hearts, and we wrestle with how your justice and mercy can meet in all this mess. Help us, help me, a child of yours, whom your love still seeks and claims when I am turned away from you, to seek good for all people, even those I most struggle with, those I have trouble accepting, and those I fail to love. I pray not for their victory over me or mine over them, but for you to win over us all for your will to be done in and through and among us, leading us into that promised day when lambs and wolves lie down together, weapons are beaten into plowshares, and bitter enemies can be reconciled in your fierce, relentless love. your 
salvation now Touched and tasted, seen and heard Light shown for all to see And hope for humanity Israel's glory restored Praise to the three in one, the 